Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Last Chance FPS, or you call me Chance. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock all nine of the secret Dark Ops challenges here in Black Ops 4 Blackout. I do want to mention quickly before we do hop into the challenges that yes, I am losing my voice slowly, but surely I've been dealing with this raspy, irritating voice for the last couple of days now, and it's really, really irritating me, but I still wanted to bust out this video to you guys to unlock all nine of the secret Dark Ops challenges, because honestly, most of these challenges are really easy and straightforward, and there's really only a couple that I I do feel like require extra tips or tricks of how to unlock them but for the most part these are pretty easy and self-explanatory so i hope you guys go on to enjoy this video this video took a ton of time to put together between getting the challenges unlocking them doing all the editing and just getting the footage itself so this video took a ton of time so if you guys do go on to enjoy this video definitely don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below and if you guys are into the channel don't forget to also hit that subscribe button to never miss future black ops for blackout video here on the channel but yeah guys without further ado let's hop into the challenges so the first challenge in this video that I want to talk to you guys now moving forward we're gonna go easiest to hardest in my mind so that you guys have the easiest time completed so the first dark ops challenge that we're gonna be going after is called zombie jams and that is to activate the jukebox at the diner so I'll put a picture up on screen now of the black ops map and where this diner is located it's right in between both nuketown island as well as array pretty much all you're gonna to want to do to make it the easiest is just to land at the diner and once you walk through the front door you will see a jukebox kind of on this backside wall and all you're gonna to want to do is walk up to it hit square or x if you're on xbox and pretty much just activate it and it will start playing the jukebox and it will start playing its song its remix whatever you want to call it and you guys are good to go so the second dark ops challenge i'm going to be showing you guys how to complete in this video is called respect your elders and the description for this challenge says to pay your respects to tanbor fudley pretty much what you're going to want to do is land at this location a little southeast of rivertown and pretty much all you're going to want to do when you land there is you guys are going to see the statue of the supposed guy and all you're going to want to do is walk up to this close this tile on the front side of him and pretty much just hold down square and eventually it will put you in this bowing animation and once you guys complete the animation you guys have completed the challenge that's all you have to do this challenge is really simple and straightforward so yeah like i said land this location hit square on this little tile that's the closest to facing him do the bow animation and you guys should be good to go for this challenge so the third dark ops challenge i'm going to be showing you guys in this video is called stay tuned and the description for this challenge says to activate the emergency broadcast now to complete this challenge what you guys want to do is land at this location or array on the blackout map and pretty much all you're going to want to do is land at the second story of the main middle building whatever you want to call it and once you guys go into this room you guys will see a bunch of control panels and all you're going to want to do is walk up to the control panel with the glowing green light walk up to it hit x just like a previous challenge and then it will activate this like emergency broadcast throughout the rest of the map i don't believe that this green button is anywhere at the other control panels in that room i've only seen it in that one room of me doing this challenge Challenge. Bad guys, like I said, do all that for this challenge and you guys should be good to go. So the fourth Dark Ops challenge that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is called Open the Blast Doors. And to complete this challenge, the description says to open the blast doors at Fracking Tower. So pretty much like the challenge says on the blackout map, you're going to want to land at Fracking Tower. And you're going to want to land at this main middle building that's got these two control rooms, I guess whatever you want to call it, at the top floor. And you're going to want to land on the left-hand side one, go through the front door, and then you guys will see this like push button control system right there you guys want to again hold square on this middle control panel and then if you guys look in front of you throughout the window you guys will see the main blast door that leads into the underground area to open and once you guys do that you guys will complete the challenge and again super easy and straightforward but this is how you complete this challenge so the fifth dark ops challenge that i'm going to be showing you guys in this video is called baller and the description for this one is to make a basket now honestly guys like it says what you're going to want to do is land at these two locations locations that have the basketball hoop it's going to be both at the estates or the raid area as well as this other like side area just to the south of it but pretty much all you're going to want to do is land at either location that has the basketball hoop and once you clear out that area you guys are going to want to again pick up the basketball that does take up a weapon slot in your inventory but all you're going to want to do is shoot it until you make it and you will know if you make it because it'll kind of do like a spiral animation inside the net it actually is fairly difficult at times to make it it's like really inconsistent Consistent. You kind of have to be like really far back, but you have to like aim it up perfectly. I don't know. It's like really weird compared to like actually shooting hoops in real life. But yeah, guys, once you guys make the basket and it does a little swirly animation in the net, you guys have known that you've made the basket and you guys have completed this challenge. Again, super easy and straightforward. Not the most difficult challenge in the world. It's just more of like clearing the area. That's why I recommend to land at the southern area instead of the raid area because there's less people that go there. But regardless, guys, this is how you complete the challenge. Another one checked off the list. So these 
sixth Dark Ops challenge that I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete in this video is called Practice Makes Perfect. Now, to complete the challenge, the description says to hit a bullseye at the firing range from 90 meters away. So, honestly, guys, just be reading that description. We are going to be wanting to land at firing range. And you guys are going to want to land at these like northern area shooting range, gallery, whatever you want to call it. And if you guys land there and you guys get a gun, it doesn't really matter if you have a sniper rifle or an AR, as long as you could actually still visibly see the targets down the range. Pretty much all you're going to want to do is aim down sight and try to hit it in like the red middle bullseye. And honestly, every time you do shoot it, it does spin around. So I don't think that has anything to do with it. If you guys can just tell by following your tracers that you did hit it pretty much center, you guys should be good to go. I got this first try. So again, not the difficult at all. But yeah, guys, pretty much all you have to do, land firing range, get a gun, shoot the middle bullseye at the targets down the range, and you guys should be good to go. So the seventh Dark Ops challenge I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is called Red Light, Green Light. Now, the description for this challenge says to be the first one to loot the supply crate at the cargo docks. Now, honestly, guys, just by reading that, we are going to be wanting to land at the cargo dock location. And there's actually three different buoys that you're going to want to be looking for when landing at this area. There's two on, like, the northern side of the parked ship, and then there's one on the south side. I've been landing at the two northern ones just because of my better odds. When you land there, you guys are going to look for the crate that is going to be underwater, bottom of the shore floor. And like the description says, there's going to be crates, just one single crate that randomly does spawn. I believe there are a couple times where I've gone and there hasn't been a crate, but for the most part, usually there is one. So definitely look out for that. But pretty much all you're going to want to do is look for the crate at the bottom of the floor of the water. Pretty much is going to be directly under any of these buoys. And pretty much like the challenge says, all you're going to want to do is be the first one to open it and gain all the loot out of it. And once you guys do that, you guys complete the challenge. Again, not that difficult at all. Probably the hardest part is just fighting over other players. And I hope that helped you guys out complete this challenge. So the eighth dark ops challenge i'm going to be talking to you guys about in this video is called fist fighter and pretty much the description of this challenge says to eliminate an opponent using only your fist now right out of the gates you guys are probably going to be thinking that this challenge is impossible because even if everybody lands right away everybody's going to pick up a gun and you're going to be at an immediate disadvantage well let me tell you this the easiest way by far that you guys are going to want to complete this challenge is to simply play a solo match and wait till the very end of the chopper pathway and if you guys look at the player count it will literally tell you how many people have already jumped so if you get all the way to the end where it forces you out of the chopper and you still see that other people haven't jumped besides you what you're looking for is for afk players now when i did it my first try what ended up happening is two people yes not one but two people were afk and basically all i did was i just followed them down all the way to the ground and then immediately punched them and boom you got the challenge complete so yeah by far the easiest way to do it don't even do any other methods all you're going to want to do is just wait till the very end where it forces you out of the chopper follow the afk players all the way down the map punch them kill them and you guys should be good to go for this challenge any other method is just going to be a struggle but if you do it this way you guys should be good to go so the ninth and final dark ops challenge i'm going to be showing you how do you complete in this video is called back in the ground and the description of this challenge says to kill a hundred total zombies now this challenge is by far the hardest challenge of the video that's why i've saved this last but to complete this challenge you guys are going to want to land at either of these five different locations where zombies do spawn is going to be the diner like i mentioned earlier the lighthouse location the boxing arena to the southeast of rivertown and then two right next to each other in the asylum area and pretty much what's going to happen is when you land at either of those locations you guys are going to know that zombies are spawning there because there's going to be a blue glowing light shining into the air and pretty much it is random any of the times you land at these locations there might or might not zombies be spawning there so it is kind of random in that aspect but if you guys are lucky enough to land a location and get a gun and not have to deal with any other players possibly doing the same thing as you and you guys get free reign to the zombies usually you're going to get about maybe like 10 to 12 kills a total somewhere around there so pretty much the main reason why this challenge is so difficult is just because of time consuming it probably took me a total of two days of just grinding out zombie kills and stuff like that because like i mentioned earlier you do have to deal with other players landing at the location as well it does take a lot of time like that's just the main reason why this challenge is hard once you finally do get 100 total kills you will get the challenge completed and once you guys do that you guys have completed all nine of the dark ops challenge and you guys are finished doing all total of the dark ops challenge which honestly overall isn't that difficult but there are a couple that are challenging like i mentioned in this video but yeah guys you guys are done and we can move on from there so yeah guys that is how to complete all nine of the secret dark ops challenge in this video like i mentioned most of them are easy there are a couple ones here and there that i felt like you guys did need tips and tricks how to complete but yeah guys that's all the dark ops challenges so i hope this video went on to help you guys complete all of your dark ops challenges like i mentioned at the beginning of this video if 
if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, definitely drop a like and a comment on this video, as well as subscribing to the channel if you guys are new. We are really close to hitting 300 subs, which is absolutely amazing. I appreciate all of your guys' support. And also, if you guys haven't already, follow my Twitch and all my social medias that I will have linked down in the description down below. Click the bell notification so you guys never do miss future upload here on the channel. And yeah, guys, until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video.